I am Mary Beth Gettens, Managing Attorney with Gettens Law. Recently, on the Gettens blog, in a post entitled, Duty to Disclose, but No Duty to Read, we discussed a case involving the disclosure of franchisor and officer earnings from the franchisee supplier purchases. In this video, I want to discuss the item 8 disclosure requirements regarding this issue. Let's first look at officer disclosures. If an officer owns an interest in a supplier, a supplier that the franchisees are required to purchase products or services from, this must be disclosed in item 8 of the disclosure document. Okay, that's the rule. Let's take a step back. So who are the officers and what qualifies as an interest? Per guidance from the Federal Trade Commission or FDC, an officer is any person with management or policy making authority. The term an interest is to be read broadly to include any percentage of direct ownership from which an officer derives income or financial benefit. So what does this include? Well, say the franchisor's vice president owns shares in a designated supplier. Pretty straightforward. This needs to be disclosed. Now, let's say the president of the franchisor owns shares of a mutual fund, and one of the companies in the mutual fund investment portfolio is a designated supplier to the franchise system. This does not have to be disclosed. Also note that the disclosure laws do not require the officer to state the amount of interest they hold in the supplier. You do not have to state that the officer had 50% interest or 100% interest in the supplier company. You do not have to say how much the officer made as an owner of the supplier. If the supply company made $100,000 last year and the officer made $90,000 last year as an owner of the supplier, that information does not have to be listed in the disclosure document. Also remember that this is only for required franchisee purchases. So if the franchisee voluntarily but is not required to make purchases from the supplier, then it does not have to be disclosed. But be careful here. Just because you say the franchisees do not have to make purchases from a supplier, that doesn't mean the franchisee won't claim they are forced or required to make such purchases. For example, maybe the supplier is the only one that's approved and therefore out of necessity they must purchase from that supplier. Okay, let's move on to franchisors. In regards to the franchisor, in item 8 of the disclosure document, the franchisor must disclose 1. Any monies or consideration it or it affiliates may or will receive from franchisees for required purchases or leases. And the franchisor also must disclose 2. Any monies or consideration it or it affiliates will or may receive from suppliers. Okay, that's a mouthful, so let's break it down. Here, the term supplier includes all third parties, any third parties in the manufacturing and distribution chain. So, say for example the franchisor charges franchisees a user fee for the proprietary software. Or say the franchisor gets a discount on corporate laptop computers based upon franchisee purchases of a laptop. These two things may have to be disclosed. Affiliates includes any businesses with common ownership. This could be a parent company, subsidiaries, or brother and sister companies. So let's say one of the, man, uh, the franchisor's sister brand offers accounting services. Many franchisees get their accounting services from the sister brand, but some don't, and the franchisees are not required to get their accounting services from the sister brand. This would not have to be disclosed. But, let's say that one of the sister brands is a printing company, and the franchisees are required to get their brochures printed by the sister brand. This would have to be disclosed. This also commonly comes up, for example, if designated suppliers sponsor the franchise convention, or if vendors pay fees to be approved and on the vendor list. There's another area. 
payments to advertising fund or trade specific franchisee associations or other third party entities controlled directly or indirectly by the franchise or affiliate must be reported in item A. So, if the advertising fund receives money from franchisees or vendors, this should be disclosed. Let's say the franchisee purchases their brochures, but this time the purchase is from the franchisee advertising fund. Well, it still needs to be disclosed. That concludes our discussion for today. Thank you for listening. I know it gets complicated. There are lots of ifs, buts, and mays. I hope this made it a little more simple. Again, this has been Mary Beth Gettens from Gettens Law.